Silver needs to make contact with the skin to be effective, but vampires are wearing armor. What now? So, if this is a science-based world, why are vampires, werewolves and other entities associated with the dark side so sensitive to silver? Well, it has nothing to do with the metal, but rather its inhabitants. Silver nanites are self-replicating robots that dwell on the surfaces of silver objects, as they require that material in their electronic components. Since silver is a good heat and electricity conductor, these silver nanites tend to be more powerful and resistant than your typical nanites. Also, they're pretty big, at around 20 micrometers in diameter and also have several contractile filaments and sensors to help them traverse the inside a body. When silver nanites come into contact with a vampire's skin, they dig through it and head straight to the bloodstream and from there, to the nervous system, where they release a neurotoxin that usually kills within a minute. After that, the silver nanites begin breaking down the body. Pretty lethal, huh? There is a problem, however, a revolutionary invention called armor. You see, while silver nanites have many advantages because of their size, it's also the crux, as they can easily be filtered, even with linen. Also, they digest tissue as they tunnel through it, but steel and other metals are too stable to be quickly broken down. Generally speaking, a proper plate mail armor with a gambeson and a closed helmet will stop silver nanites 99% of the time. Sure, you have to place the armor into a furnace every once in a while to properly disinfect it. Sure, some vampires prefer to fight in their regular clothes or no clothing at all, but those idiots get what's coming for them. The question is, what will your average monster hunting platformer hero do when they see the silver chain whip does nothing against a properly armored vampire opponent? In other words, I just took away the only weapon humans had against vampires sunlight and UV are too weak, but I want to equalize the battlefield to a degree. Most likely by finding a way for silver nanites to still reach their target, but how? And while some would answer, stab them in the armpit, I'd kindly remind you that we're talking about a century-old vampire that has enhanced senses and peak human strength, so if they happen to know Krav Maga, you'd be folded in half and tucked into a wardrobe. The tech level is medieval. How did vampires and nanites get there? God and the demons did it, who are actually ancient aliens. Why not ask them for help then? They can't interfere with the world now because I said so. What are vampires here anyway? Basically take humans, then add biological immortality, a mild susceptibility to cancer, little to no melanin in the skin, scarless regeneration, think of axolotls, acute senses, and peak human physical characteristics endurance, speed, strength. What you need are medieval squirt guns. Just stir powdered silver into the water first. Or, if you're less for the silly, clouds of powdered silver should do it. If the goal is not really to chop up your foes, but merely to touch them with silver, then you shouldn't get hung up on weapons, or sizable chunks of the metal. You're going to have some issues with retrieving the leftover silver after after a puff or squirt, true, so against non-armored vampires there are long-term advantages to using weapons coated with silver. But filings should be good enough to get through visors or armor joints. As a bonus, even if your vampire gets away, they may die of attempting to remove the armor if it isn't carefully cleaned after the confrontation. Imagine ultimately killing not only your vampire knight, but also their vampire squires who try to help them after the battle. 